Jess <laughs> Melman, and I'm a singer-songwriter from New York, and I couldn't be happier to sit with you and talk about what we love. Yeah, same. I'm Kristen Edmonds. I play soccer here for New York, New Jersey, Gotham FC. Um, I'm a defender, but can kind of play anywhere on the field, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to, to sit and chat with you. So how did you get started? Yeah, with, so uh, I'm from New York originally. Mm -hmm. um, Jersey girl. Yes, Jersey so girl we're both East Coasters, <laughs> but I moved to LA mm -hmm. to pursue music like most people. Mm -hmm. 100%. I like yeah. grew up playing all types of sports, born and raised in New Jersey, traveled all over the world playing soccer. By no means did I think that it would take me where it's taken me, but I kind of always knew that like that was definitely it for me. For yeah, sure. I, I totally resonate yeah. with that. I kind of knew it always. When did you start singing? Um, honestly, I was. I grew up around music. My mm -hmm. family was very musical. My mom sang, she played the drums. My grandpa was a drummer oh, in like a jazz band. And I remember like some girl made up this like wild rumor about me. And the first thing I like thought of doing was like writing a song about it. Uh -huh. I feel like that's when I was like, it's just something I naturally gravitated mm -hmm. towards and it was healing for me. Mm -hmm. I struggle with anxiety. So mm -hmm. when I write music, that is literally the one thing that takes my head out yeah. of everything. Yeah, I would just go in the yard and just like juggle or find a wall and play like wall ball having like a bad day, tough time. Mm -hmm. It's like when you're playing your sport or for you like writing songs, it's like everything else just kind of disappears. True. I feel like there's an art to soccer in a way too. Mm -hmm. There's a creativity yeah. in that as well. Mm -hmm. Playing all over the world in different leagues, I can say that each league has a very distinct style. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, one thing might work in Russia and it won't work in the NWSL. Like it's definitely give and take, but you also want to be heard. And I think the word respect is huge. Like respect me as an artist, respect me as a person, respect me as an athlete. It, it sure. goes a long way when you can give somebody that and get it in return. Totally. It took me a sec. You know, yeah. like first you get into like a session. And yeah. A lot of producers are male. Mm -hmm. There's been a few instances where I felt like I had to like fight for my right. Mm -hmm. Like on my own song. Yeah. Like I know this is the one thing I know I'm like, can do this and yeah. I'm good at it mm -hmm. and I'm confident in it in my ability mm -hmm. um, which I feel like has been something that I've almost had to earn in some sessions mm -hmm. studio sessions with producers and stuff mm -hmm. it was just something I realized I was like oh okay like this is how it is yeah I feel like as a woman if you are too pushy or yeah. like you voice your opinion too loud you're controlling or you're being difficult to work with mm -hmm. when really we're just like trying to get things done. Yeah. Have you had to like deal with things 100%. like that? 100% as female athletes, I feel like whether you take a stand for something or stay silent, somebody's always gonna have something to say. Right. Taking a stand I feel like is important whether you wanna do it out loud or on a big stage. I think that's super important and I can admire that you do that and I feel like sticking to who you are will take you further than kind of just conforming into what everybody thinks you okay. know you, you should be. As an independent artist, you're mm -hmm. putting so much into your like single. Yeah. And that takes money and you have to market yourself mm -hmm. and being an indie artist is is great and yeah. like I love it, but it's definitely a grind, mm -hmm. like you said. No, I, I get that hundred percent. Like being a female athlete, our pay scale compared to yeah. what other athletes make is very different. Um, I feel like we're just kind of getting to the point where you can actually make a living out of it, um, which is really cool. But it's amazing. You know, when I started playing our off season, I would actually get like another job so that I could afford to live. It's not like you just show up on stage. Like everything you had to put into it right. took so much effort and like mental, emotional, physical. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> it takes everything out of you Definitely. just to get to one point. Um, so yeah, it's it's not for the faint at heart at all. So where do you get your like inspiration to like write your songs and your make your music? Recently it's been things that hurt. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you have to lean into the pain in yeah. order to heal it. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, it'll just keep growing. Mm -hmm. And you'll never, it'll just keep growing and growing and growing until one day you just like crack. Yeah. This song that I wrote mm -hmm. called Plenty was, it comes across as a very fun, mm -hmm. and it's got that catchy like hook, and mm -hmm. 
it kind of, I wrote that in like maybe 10 minutes and I was in the studio wow. and the song just knew what it wanted to be. That's awesome. But um, it actually, I wrote it in like a really dark place mm -hmm. and it was who I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to give my love, but I wasn't filling my own cup. Yeah. And in turn, I could not love those around me in the mm -hmm. way I wish I could yeah. have. So the song is about me having plenty of love to give because yeah. I've given it to myself. Yeah. Yeah, can you show me like a dope way to put these on? Like, so, I look <laughs> so you look cool? Yeah. There's no way to look cool no putting way. on headphones. I mean, sometimes. Like, backwards. like I, I've tried. <laughs> there, right, I've I'm, tried. I'm gonna go off I you. feel like I always look like a dweeb. <laughs> It's really cool too, like knowing now that this came off of like a breakup and it's like you're on the other end, like my cup's full again. It's funny, I had to kind of fight for that song. I was talking to somebody about it and they're like, you know, maybe it's just like not meant to be. Mm -hmm. Like don't force it. And Parney was like, no, like this song's sick. Yeah. Like I want to finish it, I want to <laughs> release it and it's my most popular song. Yeah. So it's like when you feel something mm -hmm. and other people may be telling you something else, like mm -hmm. trusting your gut is the best thing you could do. And that's yeah. something I've struggled with, like trusting mm -hmm. my own intuition yeah, and strengthening that. But the more I've trusted it and it's gone well, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so maybe like I know something. Yeah. So uh, when was the moment where you felt like you like made it? I feel like I had like a couple of moments in like different stages. I had one really good season when I played for Orlando and I got called up to the national team. That's And that insane. was like, this is like yeah. literally my dream. I've made it like I'm here. Um, and then because of that season and that call up, I got a Nike deal. So becoming a Nike oh athlete for me was like, wow, yeah. I made it like dreams come true. Like, yeah, so those uh, those moments for me were, were pretty cool. And then you mentioned before, like your family being able to come see you on stage. Mm -hmm. um, my family has been to a lot of games of mine, but coming back here and playing for New Jersey, um, having them in the stands at my home stadium in my home state where I was born and raised was a really cool moment for me too. That's so special. Yeah. But what about you? What was your yeah. moment or uh, moments? Yeah, <laughs> moments. I mean, I just feel like, I feel like people think that, you know, when you're pursuing music, you want to be the next Ariana Grande, mm -hmm. Taylor mm -hmm. Swift. like these major stars and like that's when you've made it. Yeah. Which is not how I view it at all. Mm -hmm. Like I think I've made it the second I chose to do it full time. Yeah. Like I love that. That was the <laughs> that was the moment where I was like, I'm doing this. Yeah. And like I don't know what's gonna come of it, but I'm gonna put my heart and soul into this. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sitting and chatting with me. I definitely have to come out, catch a show. For sure. Whether here, LA, wherever you're at, but I'm gonna come to a game too. Yeah, I'll get you I'll get you tickets. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. This has been awesome. Yeah, awesome to fun. like get to know you. You as well. And to have a friend who's a sick athlete. <laughs> I feel so awesome. So <laughs> Yeah, this is cool. Thanks.